Good morning children. Now we shall learn about the reflection of light. We already know that light travels in a straight line. And when the light is obstructed by opaque objects, the shadow is formed. Have you ever thought is it possible to change the direction of light? Let us find it out. We all use mirror to look at our face. The face seen in the mirror is called image. Not just mirrors. Sometimes we can see our image in clear water or on a shiny steel plate too. So, if the surface of any object, be it transparent or opaque, is plain and smooth, images are formed. Any polished or shiny surface can act as a mirror. Do you know what happens when light falls on a shiny and polished surface such as a mirror? Let us find it out together. Let one person hold a mirror in his hand and stand at one corner of the room. Let the second person stand at the another corner of the room. Let the third person hold a torch and cover the glass of the torch with fingers and switch it on. Let him get a beam of light by leaving a small gap between the fingers so that light can pass through that. Let him direct the beam of the torch light onto the mirror that the first person is holding. What do we see? We see a patch of light on the other side. You know, now the person can adjust the direction of the torch so that the patch of light falls on the second person standing in the room. Wow! Interesting to watch, isn't it? So what do we conclude now? The mirror changes the direction of the light that falls on it. Not just the mirror, any other polished and shining surface like a shining stainless steel plate can change the direction of the light. This change of the direction by the mirror or the light coming back after hitting a smooth plane surface is called the reflection of light. So, the image we see in the mirror is called the reflection. We can see our image or reflection in clear water too. Hence, the surface of water can also act like a mirror and change the direction of the light. In the story too, Sona used the reflection of the shiny red toy with polished surface having the shape of a monster to scare away the thieves. That was a good trick, huh? You might think, why is that when light is reflected by highly polished surface like mirror, clear images are formed, while the image is formed when the light is reflected by rough and uneven surface are not very clear. Let us observe the mirror carefully. You will be surprised to know that a mirror which looks very smooth also has bumps. You know, at a microscopic level, that is, when we watch it under the microscope, all surfaces have bumps. They are not smooth actually. Highly polished surfaces like mirror have smaller bumps, whereas rough surfaces have much larger bumps. So, what is the role of these bumps? The smooth surfaces have very tiny or unnoticeable bumps, therefore they send back or reflect light in roughly the same angle the light hits them. So, we can see the clear image of the object. Objects that are shiny such as metal pots and mirrors reflect light better than the rough objects which absorb more light. Now coming to rough surfaces. When light falls or hits on a rough surface 
with bumps it bounces off in many directions and back to our eyes we see our reflections but they are distorted and not clear this kind of reflection is called diffuse reflection interestingly this is the type of reflection that helps us to see most of the things around us as the surface cannot be perfectly smooth normally so now you can understand why mirror whose surface has become rough cannot produce clear image in this case as the surface is no longer smooth the light is reflected at different angles and so the image formed is not clear the more rough the surface becomes the more unclear or blurred is the image what is a mirror actually can we make a simple mirror yes we can actually it is a plain glass which is silver plated the plain glass provides the smooth surface and the silver coating makes it shining now how to prevent light going through the mirror well for this you will find behind the silver coating there is also red paint the red paint also protects the silver coating from getting scratched interesting to know and simple too isn't it to sum up now we know how to change the direction of light and what is reflection the light travels in a straight line and the mirror changes the direction of light that falls on it this change of direction by a mirror is called reflection of light any polished or shiny surface say like water too can act like a mirror and reflect to give clear images when the reflection is by the rough surfaces the images formed are not clear as the light gets reflected in various directions and lastly not to forget a simple mirror is a plain glass only which is silver plated to make it shiny have fun and enjoy bye bye kids